Okay, hello and welcome to my channel. Well done, guys. Uh, actually, I was thinking to talk to direct on camera, but I have plenty to do. Uh, lots of projects to finish. Uh, lots of projects on coming. And uh, it's a really busy time for me. So I'm trying to post my works, how I do, no, how you supposed to do, and uh, try to share my knowledge and my uh, project stuff. Uh, I hope you will enjoy and stay tuned uh, because plenty of things, uh, CNC, um, plasma, CNC rotor that is behind the door. Uh, this is 2.4 by 1.5 meter. And this is this will be combo. That means uh, will be rotor and will be CNC plasma. So when I cut some holes and I need get fine hole that uh, uh, the fresca actually will make the smooth hole, or if I need to do some big project, then uh, I can just remove the 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 sink uh, for plasma and. Uh, Actually, I can put just flat board and I can uh, I can do other pieces, wood, uh, aluminum, even metal. So if I need some big size, then uh, I can do on this machine as well. Uh, behind the door is the smaller version. It's 1.5 by, I think so 96, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, this is 100 by 100 uh, aluminum profile. Uh, that one is... Uh, 80 by 80. So and, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to show you what I'm done so far or what other people helped me to get this done. So uh, yesterday uh, my friend, a uh, really, really good friend, uh, thank you very much for helping me a lot. He's done almost, almost all the important piece, uh, pieces for me. Uh, yesterday he made for me the gear racks, uh, actually he drew all the holes. Uh, I told him not to take the sharp edges. I will do that because uh, he's extremely busy as well. Uh, so very big help for any kind of help. And I've got the flat bars uh, over there. So uh, we'll be mounting them and cleaning them later on. Then uh, we've got already this. So, uh, this actually, um, this actually copy of the CNC Avid or Avid or whatever you're calling. Uh, so thank you guys for sharing your um, drawings. Not all, all, of, all of them are on the website. Uh, I will post the link below and I will post the link below of everything uh, was I what I was buying on the internet uh, all the files everything what is possible uh, on the CNC Avid is not everything uh, this is uh, for is this from one a guy from uh, America I guess uh, he was doing similar like CNC project or stuff like that and he sent me a step file but everything uh, was on Imperial and we had to change uh, 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 we changed it to metric so this is actually like prototype is uh, nothing much the original driving and uh, the system is inside is a little bit different that I will explain to you later a bit later on this and what is inside is as well a little bit different uh, so uh, and of course uh, I make a couple mistakes but is still possible to use so it's possible to modify anything because this is project so it uh, doesn't matter how it looks like for me important is how it will work so um, that's that's uh, yeah I think so that's all for now from from this side so we're going to have a look um, for the parts I ordered, and uh, I know what is inside this box. <laughs> I'm just wondering why is that big. 
So I will tell you the companies, or I will post it, the, the, the name of the, the basically the, the company I bought it from. So have a look what is inside. I know actually what is inside, but uh, just uh, I will point the camera a little bit down so you can see better. So so actually this came from CM, CMR, CMR Euro Plus. So came by DHL. And it's, wow, that is good packing. So for uh, this um, CNC, I ordered muscle. I was spending, guys, seriously, I think so, at least two years to searching, reading, uh, learning about CNC routers, uh, watching plenty of the videos on the YouTube and yeah, was a really, really, really uh, long time to get all the informations uh, and, uh, and get decision what I going to buy. And that I going to a little bit change, uh, I'm trying to, for you. Uh, I'm going to post it everything on my channel. So well, if you don't mind, you can follow me and you don't need to do that many research as I did because it's really, really, really difficult and uh, to find the, the correct information and the right information, then the most important details which I was looking for, there wasn't on video, there wasn't on website. Uh, I was uh, browsing for one product, uh, 10 uh, websites to get the dimensions, to get the, the, the real uh, data sheets and stuff like that. So uh, this is Maso, this is the last version. Uh, I've got already some emails about the updates, about everything. Has been really pa packed, packed, but as you see, this is this is yeah, a little bit like damage. Maybe I need to just tie the screw, but this is not really important because it's just a uh, holder uh, for this device. So this is basically the CNC controller. Benefit of this, you can directly connect the monitor. You can put directly uh, USB. Uh, is some videos I found some videos on a, on a, on a, on YouTube already, so we will try to do different way as is on a YouTube, uh, on other channels to get you for you more informations. Uh, so this is Wi-Fi antenna, antenna I guess. Uh, so that's uh, I mean really good uh, packing. I will check uh, if it's not broken or something like. Then I order this. So this is controller, only what, yeah, a little bit disappointed because extra work. I don't know why it's not that already, but that's no problem for me. We've got lots of experience with welding uh, and with the uh, soldering, so that's fine, fine for me. I don't see that as big issue and try to, to take negative things sometimes as positive. Uh, you can improve. Okay, so it look, looks like it's empty. And that is what is cost more most on this project, guys. Um, this everything is from uh, CNC Diamond, Diamond, whatever you're calling. Uh, actually, I, I was guessing uh, to go for. Um, Servo motors, but they are quietly expensive. And for what I need, uh, I think so. The NEMA 34 uh, closed loop motors uh, are fine. Uh, I wasn't guessing to go for the cheaper version, that means for open loop motors, that is not sense for me for simple, easy reason. Uh, the normal step motors, the standard cheaper motors, uh, they ha basically, easy to say, the voltage is going directly inside, even this motor is turning or not, is heating, uh, so the consumption is higher, uh, then uh, lots of issue when it's too hot and uh, missing steps, 
and other things and noisy as well. So I go for closed loop motors and all electronic is a little bit more expensive, but is better for sure. And uh, I was guessing, uh, I was guessing about uh, what I, which kind of brand I'm going to use for guiding, for the bearings. So as you see, I go for expensive version. So I go for actually for high wind. So um, yeah, the reason why I go for high wind is because in the future if I need to replace some kind of parts, then I will have difficulty to find the right bearings or guiding or whatever. So. And, and for sure, having is, uh, I cannot say they are the best, they are top, but they are one of the, f yeah, favorite uh, bearings and stuff like that. So, have a look what we've got here. So, I was guessing to get from other brands, but I go for Richan, as you know guys, that is everything, doesn't matter, it's from China. I'm calling, if it's not from China, it's not original, eh? So when you're saying like uh, made in USA, uh, take a joke, yeah, for sure. <laughs> made in USA or made in France or made in, I don't know, any other countries, Spain, I'm saying that's not original. Must be original is when you're saying made in China. So, say made in China, so that must be original. So, okay. So we're going to use for this project and for other project, so for both CNC's, uh, I'm going to use the same uh, 